Okay, this is a spare plumber for robots everywhere. First off, sorry for the mess. I have been working on aeroponic cells. You can see some of the garlic is trying to escape containment, but this is not what this video is about. This video is about a mask recycler. Here it is, same system really. That's why it came about. Let's say that we've got a dirty mask. And what we're going to do here is that we have a very basic battery power turntable. This thing was designed so that it would cost less than $40 and could be built without instruments. Now this has some soldering on it, but you can easily rig this up without soldering. The turntable mechanism is extremely simple. Just a switch and a TT motor and an alligator clip that has been glued on it. Inside, you can kind of see it through the fog, hopefully. We see a 2.4, sorry, a 1.7 megahertz ultrasonic misting system. It's running off a 24 volt power brick. And the liquid in here is 16% hydrogen peroxide. Now don't stick your hand in there, it's going to make your skin look like you're the Joker. So all you got to do is, I'm going to have to show one hand operation today I suppose. Um, you clearly want to do this with gloves on, but you know, it's actually not bad that you can do it without use of both hands, in case you only have one glove or there's other issues. Most importantly, you'll see that when you remove this thing, you will not need a glove. You will not need anything at all. So you just move the entire turntable. That's why it's on its own little battery. Grab the mask in the middle. Stuff it in here. And it can go, you know, pretty much every which way. It will unfold itself once it's in, once it's in the box. The box itself is a 6.3 liter Cereal container, nothing fancy. And here we go. Let's make sure that this is in the middle. There is an extra rubber band to hold the thing in place. That's optional, but you know why the heck not? This thing is bubbling. And what this does basically is that in addition to ensuring exposure for the entirety of the mask, it also moves the mist around, ensuring exposure. If you want the hydrogen peroxide to last a long time, you put this thing somewhere in the dark, like for example in a cupboard. In this case I have it on my kitchen counter because no comfort really. You should get a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, a little bit of mist come out of the container if you do this. Eventually you're going to have to put in some more H2O2. This is stuff that is easily findable. What I do is that I got the 35% H2O2 that hairdressers use and I just diluted it with potable water one to one so I get roughly 16%. It's been sitting. It's been sitting there a few months. So let's say that it's 32 instead of 35. So you just run this thing a while. Just let it run for however long you need. If you absolutely want to, you can stick your finger in there, but that kind of defeats the point. What's going on is that this little turntable, the mask, having a rigid metal part in it, acts as its own stirrer and ensures that the whole thing is exposed. You leave it alone for a few minutes, which we're gonna skip now, obviously, because that's a boring video otherwise. And three, two, one, skip. And we're back. You can see some of the mist leaving from here. You can if you close this properly, you can now see it leaving from here. So once the whole setup is ready, you turn off the turntable. You get your tray for incoming masks. 
which let's say it's this guy. And the design of the turntable allows you to take off the rubber band. By the way, this here, this white part is 3D printed, but it could be anything. It could be any piece of plastic. You can just take some transparent plastic and cut it with a pair of scissors. It just happened to be around at the time. Pull out the mask. Now that I have not touched it, and now that I need not touch it at all. And we now have a usable mask, and this can be closed until we use it for something else. Very simple build again. This is a cereal box container. This is a mister. It's important that it be 1.7 megahertz. And this little contraption here is just a TT motor, an alligator clip that's being glued to the axle, and here we have a battery holder with two batteries and a little switch. Now what you can do if you can't if you cannot solder a switch on is you simply get a battery holder that only has two batteries and to turn this on and off you just move the battery out in and out. The reason why I'm using only 2.4 volts is to make sure that this thing moves slowly enough. The reason why I'm using 2.4 volts is to make sure that this thing moves slowly enough and uh, there's no chance of breaking off the alligator clip. The alligator clip has been super glued on and then I used uh, a pair of pliers to kind of crimp it in place. This is what the uh, plastic piece that it's crimped on looks like. And you know, you can hook this thing up whichever way you want. These are soldered, but you could just do a loop. And it doesn't actually matter if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. And this will give you the ability to reuse a non-reusable mask. We're hoping two or three times, which should be enough to deal with any local shortages. Thank you for watching. This has been Spirit Plumber from Robots Everywhere.